Icon. All right. Uh, welcome. My name is uh, Investigator Olson. I'm with the Los Santos Sheriff's Department. I'm the uh, Assistant Commanding Officer of the Sheriff's Information Division. Uh, today we've called you here to speak on the uh, recent uh, poisoning of food that has been running rampant around the city and uh, offer you an update on that uh, investigation. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to uh, Investigator Murdoch and uh, he can speak out more on the case. As I said in the beginning, I'm a man of few words. Now, a certain individual by the name of Paul Falcone was going around drugging people with his lace donuts, full of all kinds of bad drugs that would uh, not give you a fun time. Now, fortunately for uh, the victims of that, they were treated by uh, MD promptly and felt better and some of them were even able to return to work the same day now during our investigation we were able to track down mr falcone and bring him to justice now i would like to say that i single-handedly did bring him down but that's not the case my colleague here investigator wilkinson did very little to help me but still did In short, we caught the suspect with many, many donuts that were all laced, drugged. The suspect also had body armor on him, as well as uh, a piece of paper with ingredients of whatever stuff he was using and how to use them. Now, the man was charged with many things, domestic terrorism, attempted murder of an employee, and some other stuff that I don't remember. But I rest assured that he is uh, refrained from doing this again, I believe. I think it's time in DOC. has scared him straight. Like that show, Scared Straight. But I think he's better now. I don't know. Maybe he was reformed. But what I can tell you with certainty is that he will no longer be poisoning the good people of this state. Um, Weasel, do you have any further questions on the yeah. incident? Do you know why he was poisoning people with donuts? What was his motive? Uh, that's not known. It seemed like he was targeting uh, government officials, uh, hence the domestic terrorism charge. Though he didn't explicitly say that, but it was implied by uh, some of his answers saying uh, that he was disappointed that he didn't kill anyone or that he didn't poison enough people. You said that you can assure us that he won't do this again. Um, what's stopping him from buying more donuts and more drugs? Well, as to where he got the drugs, I'm not sure where he got them. I don't know if he had a prescription for them or if they were illegal. Uh, I can't guarantee with absolute certainty that he won't do it again, but it sure seems like he's refrained or uh, changed his ways. Are you able to go into detail into what drugs were actually used? Um, yes. Of course I can do that. Uh, we actually, we're not going to be uh, speaking on the which drugs he used as we don't want to give uh, any would-be domestic terrorists the opportunity to uh, be a copycat and uh, try to uh, try to commit these heinous crimes again. Was Mr. Falcone targeting any specific branch of government employees or was it anyone he could find? It seems like anyone he could find. His first two uh, victims were uh, DOC cab drivers, not DOC, uh, DCC. Uh, and then some people at the uh, judicial branch, I believe, he attempted to, including uh, the Chief Justice Colt Daniels and with some uh, MD personnel as well. Whether what? or not it was specific government employees he was trying to get, I don't know. Was the Chief Justice drugged then? Did he eat the donut? He did not. He declined it. What did the treatment look like for the individuals that did eat the donuts? 
Uh, I didn't see the treatment firsthand. I believe they were given some sort of antidote that would counteract it. Uh, and it worked very effectively and very quickly. Um, they received Narcan nasal spray from what I know. Uh, the doses of the specific substance that was inside the lacing of the donuts was uh, very high. Um, on one accord, we know that it was lethal and uh, the specific symptoms the victims experienced were uh, of an overdose, really. So they were treated as a normal drug overdose patient would. So three days ago, um, Chief Tenby told us the name that it was a Paul Falcone that was poisoning people with these donuts. Why did it take three days for your department to, to find and apprehend him? Uh, we made an arrest uh, a couple of days ago on the matter. We just haven't spoken on it. Uh, we saw the uh, weasel ad go up today about the warning, and we figured we'd combat the... Uh, uh, the fear that uh, people might be feeling right now and inform the public that the, an arrest has been made. He mm -hmm. was arrested. Uh, I believe it was three days ago, Investigator? I uh, was arrested on the uh, 20th of June, I believe the same day as the first call came in. Interesting. Charles, do you have any other questions? I don't. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate you talking to us and keeping us safe as always. Yeah. Rest assured, the Sheriff's Inf Investigation Bureau, we investigate every case that comes in, especially with the increasing uh, crime within the county. We investigate everything thoroughly and make ensure no loose ends are uh, left uninvestigated. Can you give us any statistics on that increased crime in the county? Uh, we don't have any statistics readily available. You'll be able to see them at, at the end of the month in our monthly newsletter with the uh, amount of uh, arrests we've made uh, and compare them. We compile that all up at the end of the month for accurate uh, statistics. All right. Thank you. Yep. All right. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you again for your time. All right. I can uh, walk you out once you finish packing up your stuff. God bless Sheriff Card.